he came to that answer uh, was a coincidence that it would come true or did God rev uh, throw into his mind the uh, correct response and what's another question okay uh, let's see why would a person have to fear God did you read this fear God or Eurydice <laughs> or Eurydice fear God however you pronounce it why would a person have to fear God oh Uh, let's go back to Eurydice. Eurydice. This story. Uh, hmm. What's that story about? Well, I think. Oh, Eurydice is to be married to Orpheus, correct? And she got bit by the snake. Did Eurydice uh, fear God? Well, at, at least for the religion of her time which involved believing in the god Zeus and others like Poseidon and Hades I wonder if the Greeks feared their gods if it was uh, I guess they they may have feared uh, uh, certain things would happen if they didn't uh, do their uh, rituals or whatever they probably had their own ways of uh, giving doing burnt offerings or doing some kind of sacrifices so they did it uh, because of fear I suppose fearing their gods or, or fearing that you did if you didn't please or appease uh, their gods or, or whatever they were doing then things wouldn't come out right. But as for Eurydice, did she have to fear God? Uh, from the rescue of Eurydice. I didn't read uh, carefully that story but I don't see that uh, she got rescued maybe that's missing I don't know is that because the rescue of Eurydice what was she rescued from she she fell in love with Orpheus mm. So she she was going to get married and on along the way she got bit by a snake and she dies. I don't I don't see much else in the story. Was this a divine unavoidable circumstance or was it a curse? Being so focused upon Orpheus. Hmm. So was there a, a god or a goddess that was going to punish Orpheus? I don't know. I don't know the background on Orpheus. He's a, mus a musician. So there was... The, so Orpheus sought to retrieve his bride from Hades kingdom 
and return her to life or if you so he sounds like he did try to go to uh, the underworld to retrieve her and I don't see that it's explained here but uh, let's see what are the questions that Uh, here's some interesting questions. Uh, uh, did Abraham seek to be like God when he was willing to sacrifice his own son to show God that he was capable capable of killing his own son as God allowed him to kill animals instead of looking at sacrifice as an ex existence? Did Abraham turn it into a position to be like God? Mm. What I don't know what he what David means by looking at sacrifice as an existence. Okay. To be like, did Abraham turn the sacrifice into, or sacrificing into a position to be like God? Uh, possibly, uh, or may maybe not to be like them, but to to be in their favor. Uh, I guess you're connecting the this this story to the fall in the Garden of Eden, because before there was open communication with existence without fear. Until Adam and Eve uh, deceived themselves, and in an a, perhaps in an attempt of false belief that they would become like God, and would they go on to create their own God? Hmm. And then. Abraham uh, blurted out what would become a prophecy but what probably in his mind he was he felt like he was had to lie but it turned out true to become true eventually so uh, in answer to that I guess I would say that Abraham was just uh, was just uh, uh, I, uh, grew up believing that that he, if he was obedient to God above all else, everything would work out fine in the end. I don't know. Yeah, maybe like when you work for a boss uh, you obey that boss beyond anything and and nothing will stop will get in the way of, of what the boss asks him and you do that because uh, you consider uh, yeah be uh, getting on his favor on his side to be the the maximum uh, the, or the best the best way to gain uh, the boss's uh, respect and, and to uh, demonstrate loyalty <sighs> so let's see what other questions so how does a person look upon God or existence as a provider or as a teacher from the experiences of our life. Yes, uh, I would say that I don't know when when you say God or existence, you're treating both as. Um, 
yeah, you're either per personifying them or or you're uh, assuming that that God or existence is uh, providing the best for you. So I guess that's kind of a a belief or a faith. In in uh, in believing that uh, God or existence to be a provider or as a teacher, uh, I I I suppose that's a good attitude to have as to whether it's true or not. Uh, maybe it's a coincidence that that we have certain things have meaning or we provide the meaning for certain things that happen to us uh, how 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 can we be for sure that the meaning we give uh, certain incidences is the correct meaning to give it so we just give it a meaning and then we have to test it out to see if it was a worthwhile meaning I guess uh, in instinctively or intuitively you might know or have a knowing that 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 is the correct meaning to give uh, a certain incident ah, I don't know uh, if God made